Hello, today I'm going to cover on how to use a lookup function with multiple criteria. Now what I mean by multiple criteria is when you have multiple vertical or horizontal criteria that you have to assess within your lookup function. For example, let's say I want to find out the invoice ID for the X vendor under the division outsourcing management. You can see that I have two vertical criterias and the normal lookup functions don't have a built-in capability to process multiple criteria. Now, when you normally use an average ifs, sum ifs, or any other calculation if functions, all you have to do is simply add criteria range one, criteria range two, criteria range three, etc. However, in this case, we're not doing a calculation, but instead we're trying to return a value. And we're going to go over three different ways and how to use multiple criteria within lookup functions. Now there are multiple lookup functions out there, the three main ones being VLOOKUP, XLOOKUP, and index match. For our example, we're going to be using the XLOOKUP function, which is the most commonly used lookup function today. Now, as I've mentioned, there are three different ways that you could tackle using multiple criteria within a lookup function. The very first way, which is the way that I recommend, is to create an additional column, and you are going to concatenate or combine the text strings of the different criteria you want to assess. For example, I want to assess the division and the vendor field. So for the custom index, I'm going to reference the division field and then use the and symbol, which is used to combine the text strings of multiple cells. And then I'm going to reference the vendor field. And then when I close this formula, you will notice it returns a text string which combines the text values of the division and the vendor field. And this method works because once you combine the text strings, you now have a custom index with a unique combination of division and vendor. And you can simply create the same thing for your lookup value as well. I'm going to create a custom index and then simply combine these two texts. And then the last step here would be to use an XLOOKUP function where your lookup value will be the custom index, which is a combination of text string between the division and the vendor. Your lookup array will be the custom index that you've created for the data set. And then lastly, the value that you want to return, which is the invoice ID. And if you have any additional criteria you want to assess, all you have to do is simply add it to the custom index text string. For example, let's say we also want to assess the period as well. As our invoices are split between January and February, and we want to assess the February's incurred invoice number. For the period, I'm going to add Feb 2024. And then within the custom index, I'm going to add another text string of the period. And then lastly, within the data set, I'm also going to add the period within the custom index. And we were able to identify that the invoice number for outsourcing management and the vendor X within February 2024 is 10,231. This method is really good if you have a streamlined process that you're doing every month or every period. And using the custom index will help you set up the data set already for you to assess multiple criteria within the function. However, if you're just doing a one-time analysis, perhaps creating a whole new column within the data set is not that efficient, which I'll cover in a different method within this video. This method also takes the least amount of memory space within Excel, so it helps you make sure that your file is operating pretty efficiently and at a good speed. Now let's go over a different method. It's going to be very similar to this method. However, we are not going to create a separate index, but instead create a spill array within the formula itself. And what I mean by that is I'm going to X lookup where the lookup value is going to be a combination of the division and the vendor. And within my lookup array, I'm simply going to combine the division field and the vendor field. And lastly, for our return array, I want the invoice ID. And you'll notice that this works exactly as well as creating the custom index. This is pretty much the same as method number one, but it skips a step. Now you might think that this is more efficient because you don't have to create an additional column of data. However, this method takes up a lot of memory space 
if you're doing this for multiple criteria. So this method will work as well. However, if you notice that your file is slowing down, I recommend going back to approach number one. Now the last method, which is the most complex but also very practical, is to multiply the different criteria together. To go over an example, I'm going to use the XLOOKUP function where the lookup value is one. And the lookup array is going to be the division field that equals the division that we want to assess multiplied by the vendor that equals the vendor that we want to assess. And lastly, our invoice ID is our return array. And this method works just as well. So now let's quickly go over why this method exactly works. To visualize exactly what's going on here, let's say criteria one and criteria two. If we assess division field that equals the division that we want to assess, you'll notice that it returns an array of false and trues. And then for criteria two, we want to assess the vendor that equals the vendor that we want to assess. And again, you'll notice that it returns an array of false and trues. And if we take a look into our formula, we multiply these two criteria together. And if we multiply, it will return an array of zeros and ones. And you'll notice that when both of the criteria are true, it will return a value of one. And our lookup value is one. So exactly what's going on in this formula is it is searching for the value of one within this array. And then based on the match, it will return the invoice ID. I like to use method one or method three. Method three and method two are pretty identical. However, I believe that method three takes the least amount of memory space. And these are the three methods to use a lookup function with multiple criteria. And if you know any other method, please let me know in the comments below. This is something that I would like to find out to find more efficiencies in. I hope this video helped and follow for more Excel tips.